All right, how are we all going? This is uh, this is interesting. This race. I don't know if everyone's sort of just taking it easy, or. They're sort of just sitting back. And I haven't got big numbers in this one. There's only, I don't know, probably 18, I guess, in this front group here. We've got six laps. The first little, first of the six little climbs. So we'll see what happens here. Yep. Nothing outrageous there. The other thing I noticed with this 3R race is that normally you're racing with the other categories and that can make it a little bit different but I can only see C-grade here so and one guy to look out for is Lars Christensen I think he's in the Oh, I thought he was in the green there, but that's not him. Oh, there he goes, in the green on the left-hand side, up, up at the front. Averaging 2.7 watts per kilo at the moment. Which is a bit lower than normal. We definitely aren't pushing the pace, that's for sure. 
No PRs today. There'll be no front time either, that's for sure. <laughs> so I think that little rise there, before we sort of bend to the left and come to the finish will be the, the point to make a break, I think. I'm happy to sit the back and use as, as fewer as fewer watts. <laughs> use the, as the least amount of power as I possibly can. But you don't want to get complacent on these kind of races either. You want to stay within striking distance of the guys on the front and not get complacent. Yeah, so third, fourth wheel. Thanks, Chris. Chris Chicken Legs Taylor. So I think things will go around at this pace for easily for the next two or three laps and we'll sort of see what happens. No power-ups in this race. So no featherweights, no drafting. Yeah, so we've got race six of the WTRL season two on next Tuesday. Climbers Gambit. I'm not looking forward to that. Reverse Epic Com finish. That will not be pretty.
There's some like um, 680, 690 meters of climbing in that one. The Commodores have got a pretty good lead there on the on the leg ladder, which is good. They're definitely aiming for a top three spot. Which is why I'm happy to sit in on this race. Road uh, Beach Road yesterday morning. That was good, got dropped. But it was a good day though. The weather was uh, pretty nice. So just here I think would be a good spot to to make a little attack if an attack hasn't been made already. Our last is averaging 2.2. Here's 20 years 3.4.
Yeah, so no one's dropping. And no one's moving either. Just trying to keep it really smooth. Sit mid pack. I'm pretty sure I've done faster times on this route. The chop rides this. This is one of the regular routes, but in reverse. I think I like the reverse for a bit, a bit, a bit better. Alas is in the blue there. Ah. Right next to him on the left. And the blue are who?
Oh, there's mountain black man. Well, that was a much faster time. Six minutes, 11. Uh, soft pedal these downhills.
Thank <laughs> you. Ah! I got the wrong gear. I got the wrong gear. <laughs> Well done, Lars. You played that perfect, per perfectly.
results yet. <laughs> yeah, that's interesting. Sebastian and Tom, I don't know how they on the front there. And Andrew and Boris. Good. I wonder what happened there. Oh, there we go. I'll be first. Alexander, second. Oh, I don't know, Alexander. Yeah, David, Mike, Tom, Jimmy, Sebastian. Yeah, okay. So what was that? 2.8 watts per kilo, 226 watts, 240 normalized power. Yeah. Yeah, that Alexander's got a, a pretty good 15 seconds too. 10.6. Ah, oh, good work. No, I was close. It's about a second in it. Although looking at it now, it looks like Swift has mess messed up the timing. I don't know how I got a, a faster time and came third, but. Anyway, all right, that is done. If you've gotten this far, hit the thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, leave me a comment, tell me if I should have gone sooner or if I should have held off on that climb and, and just hung with the grip until the end. All right. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next race. Ugh.